Okay, ready? Earlier this morning, detectives from the Sexual Crime Investigation Team arrested a 34-year-old male from Smithfield Plains for the sexual assault of the woman who was walking near the wetlands at Munnopara on the morning of Friday the 11th of October. It's expected uh, this person will appear in the Adelaide Magistrates Court tomorrow morning. Um, he's currently being questioned by police and there's a number of other issues that we're, uh, we're looking at. So that's why uh, it probably won't be tomorrow morning. Uh, I want to publicly acknowledge the uh, commitment and effort of the detectives of the Sexual Crime Investigation Team and indeed all other officers from the Public Protection Branch and the Northern District Police Officers who, contribu who contributed to this arrest. I also thank the staff from Forensic Science SA and from SAPOL's Forensic Services Branch who provided timely information to the investigators. And importantly, I want to thank the members of the public who also assisted with this investigation. The community is our eyes and ears and working together we can achieve uh, some positive outcomes. Um, as you would understand, um, I'm unable to provide any further details about the case itself while it's now subject to judicial proceedings. Was the public information that led you to this case? Uh, that was part of, part of the public information, yes. Can you tell us where he was arrested? Uh, he was arrested at a residential house at Elizabeth East. Is he a known sex offender? Uh, I wouldn't like to comment on his uh, criminal history. Is he known to the police? Uh, Yes, he does have, have uh, uh, he is known to police. And what was the victim's reaction to the arrest? Um, the victim uh, had a positive attitude towards the arrest. How disturbing uh, is the alleged conduct of this person? Uh, well, it's, it's very disturbing because it occurred in a isolated place, a public place, where you've got a, um, a woman who's going about her normal day-to-day -day duties and, uh, and doing her normal activity and she's attacked um, by surprise uh, in a public place so it's yeah it's quite significant and he was armed it will be alleged he's armed with a weapon so have you managed to find that weapon uh, i wouldn't like to comment on that at this stage on monday police were going to conduct a big search through the ses is that yes. still going to go ahead at all yes there's still uh, we're still going to um, uh, consider doing some further searches and you're still calling on uh, always, um, you know, so, uh, even though uh, we've we've got a lot of help so far, we're always looking for more that people, you know, people might um, it might jog their memories and things like that, where they think, oh, actually, I'll, I have to do that. So, yeah. Specifically, dash cam footage in the area as well. So. Uh, yes, that's part of it. Yep. Is he, he investigating this guy in relation to any other crimes uh, recently? Uh, no, not at this stage. But uh, we uh, we obviously have. Um, uh, our intelligence analysts who, who will look and review all, all the sorts of uh, types of crimes uh, that are similar to this and, and see if there's any comparative um, investigations. What might this charge you conclude? Uh, they're, well, they're sexually related, so uh, it's likely to include offences such as rape and aggravated assault. Okay, no worries. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks a lot.